Good day everyone, it's E1 and I'm back with another installment of E1 Tech and in this installment I am installing the Oxygen OS 2.2.0 the latest update for the OnePlus 2 on <laughs> my OnePlus 2 so we're gonna check it out right now it's optimizing app 55 of 179 so when this is complete we'll get further into it and then we'll get in to see what goodies the 2.2.0 has for the OnePlus 2. All right? Let's get into it, all right? Now, if you look at it really, it doesn't look any different. It has comes just as normal. The icons are the same. The, the display in terms of the, the, um, the launcher is still the same. All right, but let's talk about what is noticeable. If you pull down the, in the quick settings, you're gonna see right here that you can toggle now between screen temperature and brightness. The screen temperature and the brightness. Now this one is the brightness where you, you can adjust the screen brightness and the screen temperature. You can make it warm or you can make it cool yeah that's basically it in that aspect it's not really much of a change but it's nice because sometimes you want to adjust the, the especially the temperature of the screen and you have to go all the way into settings just to get to that settings there so i look at that as a positive i look at that as a good thing that they place the temperature settings right there along with the brightness of the screen next now you can <coughs> hide the google search bar here by holding down on the screen going to settings and down at the bottom you're gonna see hide search bar when you hit that and you come back out that's it the search bar is gone now for some that's nice especially when you have an immaculate well put together home screen and you don't really want anything in the way but for some you would really want that there so that you can you know Activate your search easy, you press the, the mic, OK Google, and you're there. You ask your questions and that's it. But for some, it doesn't really matter. And for me, it doesn't really matter. So I like it there. I'm going to leave it there. And there it is. All right. Another thing I have realized while going through it is the wallpaper. They have added two new wallpapers just for the Christmas season. So if you're going to the wallpaper settings and you go down to OnePlus wallpapers and you hit that there, you're going to see down below, they have the Christmas festive season wallpapers. So you have one here, which is this one, real nice snowflake and red. And the other one is all the nice sweets that comes along around Christmas time. Yeah, they have it there. <laughs> so I don't know what your preference is, but it's so cool. I like this one and this is what I'm going to use for now. It's real nice. So on another thing is that they have fixed <coughs> the Google camera app, Photosphere and Panorama. Now for some, you have to go and if you, you are a user of the Google app, camera app, you just hit the Google camera app and they have fixed the Photosphere and also the Panorama because I believe before it was giving problems where it wasn't taking the pictures properly, it was crashing, I believe. So that they have made fixes for that. So, and that's a nice thing. And while we are on the camera app, in the stock camera app of Oxygen OS, they have made it where now there is a bubble to preview the picture you have taken. As you can see, it popped up there, right here where my finger is. Before you was not seeing that. You had to swipe from the side to see the pictures that you wanted. But now, when you snap a picture, you touch the bubble, and that's it. The picture that you, are, that you take, you have taken, it's right there at your fingertips. So that was a nice guess, gesture for them to put in that little feature there, because sometimes you really forget to, to swipe from the, from the right to access the picture. So it's right there, you just press on it, and you're good to go. Other than that, those are some of the visible things that you can see in the 2.2.0 oxygen os update what you cannot see is fixes to the dual sim preferences the security there are security patches general fixes and optimization for the device to help it run smoothly fast efficient and 
or to give great service to you, the, the individual who uses it. What I think, in my opinion, they should have included in this update is a fingerprint scanner update because I believe there are still people out there who are getting issues with their fingerprint scanner and I believe that they should, you know, should have gotten that organized, you know, with an update and stuff like that. So I hope maybe in the other updates to come, whether if it's Lollipop or whether if it's, you know, another Oxygen OS update that they will put in or, incl or, or include a update for the fingerprint sensor. All right. So once I get that, I am going to do another video on that, especially with the fingerprint, because I've got a lot of questions in my last video, which I'm going to link in the description below about the fingerprint issue. All right. So that's really it. And I am thankful for you guys for coming, subscribing and watching my videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please share it so that it can inform other people of what is happening with the Oxygen OS of the OnePlus 2. And I really thank you all for all that you have done in this year 2015. Thank you so much. And you're going to see me again right here on E1 Tech. Thank you.